there's a new Ram pickup truck with French origins and made in China. We've been hearing for a long time that Ram has been working on, or thinking of working on, a smaller pickup to slot in beneath its full-size 1500. But while we keep waiting for a revived mid-size Dakota, or even something compact to compete with the Ford Maverick and Hyundai Santa Cruz, Mexico is getting a new small unibody Ram badge truck, the 2025 Ram 1200. This new pickup squishes in between the Ram 700 and Ram 1500 in the automaker's lineup south of the border. According to local news outlet Auto Cosmos, the Ram 1200 is spun off the Peugeot Land Trek, a smaller truck available in global markets. Like the Land Trek, the Ram 1200 will hail from China, but Ram Mexico has asked the plant to adapt the truck to the needs and requirements in Latin America, according to the site. The leaked screenshots reveal the Ram 1200 will be available in regular and crew cab body styles for the tradesman trim, while Bighorn and Laramie models will only get four-door crew cabs. All models will be powered by a 2.4-liter four-cylinder turbo with 210 HP and 226 lb-ft of torque, according to Auto Cosmos, and only the Laramie trim is available with 4x4 traction the rest of the lineup sticks with two-wheel drive. Payload capacity is around 2,650 pounds, which is more than the 1,544 pounds that the U.S. market Ford Maverick can haul. Towing for the Ram 1,200 maxes out at 6,613 pounds, which is more than the 4,000 pounds the Maverick can handle with its optional towing package. We reached out to Ram Mexico for comment and they have confirmed the information above, and added that the Ram 1200 will take the place of the Land Trek to avoid competing with each other. Like the Maverick, the Ram 1200 can be used as a commercial and lifestyle vehicle. The tradesman trim lacks any chrome, rides on steel wheels, and its front fascia is made up of black plastic. Bighorn and Laramie variants have a color-painted fascia, aluminum wheels, and chrome on the grille and window frames. They also have a step to enter the cabin, and overall both look more polished. It's too early to know whether the Ram 1200 will serve as a preview to what, if anything, similar will get here in the States. With this specific truck being built in China, it's highly unlikely we'll get the exact model, even if some of its specs are adapted for the US market. We should also point out that this Ram 1200 and the Ram Rampage that debuted in South America last year are different trucks, their styling and powertrains are different. Here in the US, it's rumored the Ram Dakota is making a comeback, likely as a unibody lifestyle truck in late 2025 to compete with the Maverick and Santa Cruz and, to some degree, the Honda Ridgeline. While we'd love to see the Dakota sooner, we'll have to patiently wait until its debut. In the meantime, Mexico and other global markets will have a smaller unibody Ram truck they can drive. Ram 1500 Rebel X When the Ram 1500 Rebel was introduced for 2015, it spawned a whole new mid-grade off-road segment in light-duty trucks. Before that, we had the Ford F-150 Raptor and Ram 2500 Power Wagon, but both trucks had more to offer than most people needed, sitting at either the desert racer or gigantic, stump-pulling extremes of the off-road spectrum. The Rebel introduced something in between those poles, yet more rugged and with more flair than lightweight off-road variants such as Ford's FX4, Chevrolet's Z71, Toyota's TRD Pro, and Nissan's Pro 4X packages. Not to mention, the Ram has a way cooler name. Even as the Tremor and Trail Boss became available from Ford and Chevrolet in response, the Ram Rebel just has a certain flow to it. So, what does a decade of existence and trailblazing earn the Rebel? A special edition X package for the 2025 model year, which also sees the entire Ram 1500 lineup receive a thorough update along with fresh engines. Oh, and the V8's gone and so is the TRX, sort of. New 1500 Rebel X. In 10 years, the formula hasn't changed much, and the Rebel has improved over time along with the entire Ram 1500 lineup. 
the 2025 Ram 1500 Rebel still has a 1 inch taller ride height from the factory, with steel or air springs available, and an electronic locking rear differential. It also comes with tow hooks, a transfer case, fuel tank skid plates, off road Bilstein dampers, and 33 inch tires. The story under the hood is a bit different this year, as with other 2025 Rams, the Rebel adopts Stellantis new Hurricane Twin Turbo inline six engine, specifically the standard output Hurricane SST with 420 horsepower and 469 lbft of torque. An eight speed transmission handles shifting duties. The Rebel only comes as a crew cab with a five foot seven inch box, with Ram boxes available for extra storage. Adding the new Rebel X package automatically includes everything in the Rebel Level 2 package, which upgrades the center touch screen to 14.5 inches and adds a 10.25 inch passenger screen. Remote start, rain sensing wipers, dual wireless charging pads, a 19 speaker premium Harman Kardon sound system, power folding mirrors, and power folding tailgate make the Rebel a well equipped truck on a day to day basis and plenty of off-road capability for all but the most hardcore enthusiasts. To make it a true Rebel X, buyers can opt for the Rebel X, exclusive Mojave sand exterior color seen here, which looks incredible. Inside, leather bucket seats with high seat bolsters feature an X logo with red accent stitching throughout, plus red seat inserts. A black and red metal badge on the center console lid commemorates the 10 years of Rebel availability. A panoramic sunroof makes sure the ornamental centerpiece always has good lighting. If you're thinking this all sounds like an appearance package, well, it kind of is. But it ends up with great equipment and does have a cool factor over the standard Rebel. However, Ram did pull out one trick to give the Rebel X an edge. Ram is introducing its new rough road cruise control feature on the Rebel X. It allows drivers to set cruising speeds on, you guessed it, rough, dirt roads. It's like the way hill descent controls downhill speed to let drivers focus on steering. The new system reads the terrain ahead, adjusts suspension as applicable, and changes the weighting of the steering wheel. Price and availability. The Ram 1500 Rebel is already available to order, and starting today, the Rebel X package and can add it to new builds. The Rebel starts at $66,190, and starting today, the Rebel X can be added for an expected price of $3,500. Please comment, subscribe and like.